Hey guys, it's Flower Gothic, Brutal Honesty and Bite Sized 4. Now you may remember about a month ago I made a video slamming on Yandere Dev's quote unquote reasons for not including Asana into the game. A lot of y'all had some pretty positive feedback on what I said, and some of y'all. Some of y'all just tried to um, insult me as if that would actually hurt my feelings. Yeah, nice try. I've probably heard it before, dumbasses. But looking back, I feel like I implied that I supported the game as a principle, which is not the case at all. I do not support Yandere Simulator as a game for multiple reasons, which I am going to explain in this video. Problem number one. Yandere-chan isn't a yandere. Now here's the deal about yandere. It is basically a combination of two Japanese terms. Yan for mental illness and dere for sweet and loving. So typically yandere would be someone who's sweet and loving but has an incredibly murderous streak that they hide unless if it's regarding their loved one. Yandere-chan doesn't really express outward emotion. She's not really sweet and loving on the outside, which doesn't make her much of a yandere as much of a psychopath. You're acting like you're justifying Yandere-chan's actions as if, oh yeah, her senpai will make her feel whole, which... <sighs> yeah, you're basically ruining the sanity of a man. And the problem is that you're making basic, you're making psychologically torturing these people a positive point of the game. Like, Yandere Dev in his complaint against Twitch said, oh, Grand Theft Auto V has a torture scene, but they're not banned from Twitch. It's like, Torturing isn't really a focal point of the game. Most of it is just stealing automobiles and shooting people. And you're not really supposed to sympathize with the characters. <sighs> They're anti-heroes and we all know it. But with Yandere Chen, you're supposed to sympathize with her. You're supposed to think that she's in the right. And oh yeah, you can torture innocent people. That's like a main focal point of the game. And that's incredibly horrific. <laughs> Which brings me to my second problem with the game, the mechanics. Not only are there too many count, but most of them aren't actually yandere actions. Yandere's really just kill people and psychologically damage their senpais. But you have like matchmaking, which not only is the whole matchmaking thing really bizarrely done, but it's not really something I'd imagine a yandere to do. Yandere's wouldn't expel or matchmake or friend, quote unquote, friend eliminate one of their quote unquote rivals. They just fucking kill them. Maybe, okay, maybe a little torture, but they certainly wouldn't let them go back to school. Those bitches would be murdered. Straight out. It's not really much of a yandere simulator as it is a Emotionless psychopath make her do things simulator. Which, I, it doesn't have much of a ring to it, but <laughs> you're making people think Yandere Chan's a Yandere, which again, she is not. Problem number three, these two. Why are these two in the game? What are these two's purposes of being in the game aside from being senpai's quote unquote love interests? Doesn't Yandere Dev realize that teacher-student relationships are not only discouraged but illegal in some parts of the countries of the world, including my state. And Yandere Dev, do you have like a fetish for big-breasted women? Because that's what a lot of your rivals look like. And you may say, oh, but it's his game. He can do whatever he wants with it. But keep in mind that it's kind of your game too because you're playing it and you want Yandere Dev to do all these things for his game. It's like, can't you like lobby him to not include perverse women if you them in the game? Those two weeks are probably gonna be uncomfortable for a lot of people in the game. Anyway, those are some of my main problems with Yandere Simulator. To keep the video short, I'm not going to 
dwell on my more minor problems with it. But I also do indeed have an idea on like what I would do for the game if I was the one actually writing the story and all that jazz. And if you want me to tell all about it, I'll be happy to. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want more and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Mwah.